Hello, I've been the CTO and member of a physical design analog layout group for the last almost two decades. And over those two decades, we have taped out to over 200 customers across the world for, on different technology nodes, for different applications, um, a really broad spectrum. But surprisingly, what hasn't changed, what isn't that broad, is over those 200 companies, while there are unique exceptions, a lot of them still approach the whole concept of analog layout with a very traditional approach. And this is a traditional approach is what I consider the design wall. This is where you have analog designers on one side of the wall and layout designers on the other. And effectively, when the analog designer has finished their schematic, they throw the schematic over the wall. Now, for sure, a lot of companies will provide things like schematics and constraints. They will provide annotation either via notes or potentially voice annotation. I think the new kind of trend in the industry is what's called design intent. But fundamentally, there is a handoff from design to layout. And then the layout activity happens, and what we pass back effectively is a completed layout and generally some idea of parasitics. Effectively, this traditional approach is two very distinct disciplines interacting closely. And how closely, it kind of depends on the company, uh, it depends on the application, maybe the frequency of the design or how sensitive it is. But this is something that a lot of companies still adapt. However, I'm going to question this traditional approach, particularly when you move into FinFET technology nodes. Because FinFET technology nodes, one of the things you're going to see is the change in layout. Effectively, FinFET design, it relies on layout information for design completion. Now, this could be argued that was always the case. I'm not talking about parasitics. We're talking about proximity effects, leakage effects, all of these things that are impacting the layout. Things like density can impact a device rather than an overall circuit. You have your layout dependent effects. Um, you might have some tuning for IR or litho requirements. The layout has been really, really squeezed. And until the layout is done, the design is not even close to completion. So one of the changes you're going to see is it has to be a very significant priority to get layout information back to the design and ideally early. And I guess one of the questions you could ask is, is there a layout methodology for that? And yes, there are approaches you can take to allow you do this. But I think the biggest approach is changing this idea of the design wall. Throwing a design over and throwing a layout back, I don't think is the best approach if you want to actually close on your designs and close on your layouts in a short period of time with quality results and good correlation between layout and schematic. So what has to happen with the wall is the wall has to get smaller than the traditional wall. And in fact, rather than throwing things over, the approach is quickly passing information through. I think this is the big change though. Designers have to now be layout aware and far more layout aware than what ever were before. But similarly, on the other side, layout engineers have to be design aware. Certainly in our company, all our engineers uh, have at least bachelor degrees. Most of us have master degrees. We approach layout from a design perspective. And this is the key one. We are working with the technology, not against it. We understand the technology, and that's key. Rather than seeing what you can get away with, what you're really trying to see is what is optimal in the design and the layout on the technology node you're in. So if you are moving to a FinFET technology and you are going to be doing some analog layout or, or some design, do look at the actual traditional approach that you may have and see if there is a way of closing that interaction between both disciplines, still having distinct disciplines, but working far more closely together rather than possibly pulling in separate directions. Thank you.